Good afternoon and welcome to Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Natalie Fonts and I'm excited to have John Balzer from AT&T with me today. Welcome. Thank you for having me. People always love to see you on the show because that means another great giveaway. Another, no, something for free now. So. Yes, something for free. <laughs> exactly. All right, so what did you bring with you today? So today I bought with me a new device uh, brought to you by Fitbit. It's called the Fitbit Surge. Okay. Um, I've heard of the Fitbit, and we've mm -hmm. given several away on this show. Absolutely. So this is like the latest version, is that right? It is. It's the latest version. Mm -hmm. um, it actually doubles as a watch, as you can tell by the display on the actual device, oh, and as a fitness wearable. Here, so I it's kind of the, the the front of it. It's kind of the so best of both use... worlds. Okay. Yeah. So the other ones were very skinny and didn't have a a watch, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. So this one gives the time. Correct. All right. And then what else does it do? I'm sure there's plenty that it does. So, of course, during the day, it'll still do your distance, your steps taken, mm -hmm. um, your stairs climbed. So it's perfect for those people trying to get to those 10,000 steps per day. Mm -hmm. But it's also a good watch to wear even after the workout because on the display, it'll tell you your time, your heart rate, and your distance traveled. So you just want a quick reference, just glance oh. down at your wrist, and you can check everything. It's perfect. Oh, so if you're training for something, mm -hmm. then that's perfect thing to have on you. What other um, activities, other types of activities should you, you know, that you could be doing that this would be good for? So it's really good for any type of person who's active. So cycling, cross-country training, even just your normal person, even, you know, someone who likes to go swimming or to the gym, just working out, you know, it's really nice to be able to track your progress. Um, you're able to see charts. Um, and, you know, really see what Im what improvements need to be done. Right. So, and your heart rate, right? Exactly. Okay. And then so you can track long-term progress and trends. So how about sleeping? There's a lot of people who talk about these Fitbits, and they love the fact that it tracks their sleep. Does that do this as well? It does. So okay. along with the charts and all the improvements that you can look at, um, the application is available through Apple products as well as Android products. Mm -hmm. And it will actually track your sleep patterns for you and tell you how that you can improve on those sleep patterns okay. as well. You can tell, by the way, I'm, I'm speaking that I've never <laughs> used one of these things because I'm afraid of it because I have a problem with technology. It doesn't work around me. Is this going to work? Am I going to be able to use this thing? Absolutely. Everything okay. connects remotely. Um, you don't actually have to log anything. It actually does all the logging for you through mm -hmm. the app. So, you know, a lot of people like to keep fitness journals and things like that. Sure. And keep track of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. This will do it for you. All right. Okay. So, if I wanted to purchase one of these, I can go to the AT&T store. How much does it cost me? You can get it at the AT&T store for two forty nine. All right. That's not bad. Not at all. Because it is a, an actual smartwatch, too, so it'll tell you incoming calls, text messages, it'll let you control your music ah. without taking the phone out of your pocket. So it, it does a little bit more than just that fitness piece. It gives you that smart watch factor as well. Okay. All right. So we're going to give this away to one lucky viewer. So all you have to do is go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash daytime blue ridge, and type in Fitbit Surge. This is the latest and greatest thing. So you're going to want this thing. So we will give this lovely gadget away to one lucky viewer on Monday. Perfect. Since this Friday will give people the weekend. Okay. I did want to mention that you guys at AT&T have a great campaign going on right now to keep people safe behind the wheel because I didn't I didn't realize this, but according to AAA, so this is we are now in what's considered is the deadliest days for teen drivers between correct. Memorial Day and Labor Day. You're correct. They say it's the 100 deadliest for teens. Why is that? So, of course, there's going to be a lot more driving going on during these times, mm -hmm. you know, school's out, more teenagers are driving, they have more time to do things. Um, and I brought my little cheat sheet along with me today because I want to make sure that I get these really important facts correct. Yes. Um, during this time, the deadly teen crashes, they actually increased by 43% wow. um, compared to the rest of the year. So this short amount of time, just these 100 days, mm -hmm. you see an increase of 43%. Interesting. You and also see... 75% of teen drivers say that texting and driving is common amongst them and their friends. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, if you talk to any teen, they'll say that, it, it, that they do it all the time. It's not a yeah. big deal. But what I was interested in, I was reading online, is that they were saying that a lot of people check their Facebook accounts and social media is a big distraction behind the wheel. So you guys have a, a video. I wanted to show this video because it's a commercial that's out, and it's, it's all part of your It Can Wait campaign. Correct. But this is this post can wait because it's basically a mother with her baby in the back seat, 
And basically what she did was she checked her Facebook account mm -hmm. real quick and then had this accident. And so not only do you need to stop texting, but the social media aspect it's huge. is a huge distraction. It is. And our campaign and our commercials, they're very realistic. Um, mm -hmm. Some people have a hard time watching those commercials, but it really brings out the true meaning. It kind of sheds light on something that we all know that we do and that people do on a daily basis and mm -hmm. it really kind of says hey I might need to rethink what I'm doing yes well I love what you're doing thank you for this campaign and yes if you're doing it please stop doing it especially now absolutely yes all right well thank you John and good luck with the Fitbit surge and we will give that away on Monday